Okay, uh, so um, Hodgkin's lymphoma, it's technically a type of cancer. Um, it's one of the, the group of lymphomas. There are many of them, um, and it's a, a less common form of lymphoma. Um, uh, it, it technically is a cancer, and it comes from our, our own um, immune, if you like, protective cells. Um, and they start to multiply in our body. They grow out of control. They sort of escape the normal checkpoint mechanisms that, that control our body's um, growth, um, and they can become a, a problem with that. Um, we divide up the Hodgkin lymphoma into something called classical Hodgkin lymphoma, which is the vast majority of cases, and then there's a rare subtype. It's got a bit of a mouthful called nodular lymphocyte predominant Hodgkin lymphoma. Um, how does it affect the body? Well, um, typically it presents as a lump that a patient notice isn't going away. So the lump starts, probably gets slowly bigger, but it persists. And we absolutely encourage patients to present early with persisting lumps because that's really important to getting a diagnosis. And um, uh, we believe that that, that um, and we know that that can um, improve outcomes if we diagnose patients with less disease or earlier. Um, it can affect the body in other ways with other symptoms, but typically it's a lump um, uh, and, and there's other symptoms that I can describe. Okay, so, so um, uh, most patients who get Hodgkin lymphoma are sadly unlucky. And, and that, 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 what that really means is that we, we don't know specifically why one patient gets it and many other, others does, don't get it. Um, there is work looking at certain associations. Um, uh, it, it, it is more common in certain situations. Um, some patients who have the HIV infection have a slight increased risk of Hodgkin lymphoma. Um, other infections, such as the glandular fever virus, can be found in association with Hodgkin lymphoma. But again, most people do not get Hodgkin lymphoma who have these infections. So most of the time, we, we don't know why patients get Hodgkin lymphoma. But there are other certain rare conditions um, to do with the, our body's immune protective system being disrupted, such as after um, transplants. And sometimes we can see um, lymphomas, including occasionally Hodgkin after that. But for the vast majority of patients, um, we, we, we don't know why they specifically get it, but we can manage it very well. So typically patients will present with a lump, a mass that's often, but not always in their neck or in their armpits or in their groin where they might notice it. The reason we say that is because that's where we have lymph nodes. So we all have lymph nodes, they're a normal part of us and they're full of um, our immune protective cells. Um, but when the, a cancer develops and if it's Hodgkin, then um, uh, th those cells can uh, increase in number leading to the node increasing in size and becoming a lump. So we we um, typically um, uh, see patients with a lump. There are other symptoms. Sometimes the disease can, in a way, act like a bit of a parasite. Um, it can take your own nutrition, if you like, um, and cause a sort of inflammatory state that leads to, to weight loss. It can also cause um, um, drenching sweats. So a patient may say, I've had night sweats or fevers. They, 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 they don't have an infection, um, although we do look for these um, frequently, um, and they have fevers and itching. So all over body itch is, is a, 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 a symptom that we is often a herald of Hodgkin lymphoma, and sometimes patients have had itching for some weeks or even months um, without lumps. Um, but eventually present um, with Hodgkin lymphoma. So that's something we, we're keen to convey that uh, chronic all over body itch should, should, should spark a, a thought for Hodgkin lymphoma as well. Um, so Hodgkin lymphoma is curable for the, 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 the vast majority of patients. Um, uh, and, and for those patients, it's typically with one, what we term a course of treatment. So most patients with Hodgkin lymphoma are cured with one course of treatment. Um, some patients need um, more than one course and um, what we term more intensive or novel new uh, therapies to achieve a cure. But the, the vast majority of patients um, uh, are, are cured of this condition.
So it's a, a great success story of over recent decades. Uh, so the treatment of Hodgkin lymphoma, um, there are several sort of uh, uh, um, classes of treatment, if you like. Um, most commonly, patients will get some form of combination, well-tolerated chemotherapy that is very effective. Um, so th there are um, uh, several drugs we use um, uh, that we do term chemotherapy, but to emphasize, because that word chemotherapy is a very powerful word to patients, um, typically the, the, the program, the course of treatment is generally well tolerated. We have excellent supportive treatments. What we mean by that is medicines that we give to minimize any adverse side effects of the chemotherapy. And there are now um, uh, approaches to treatment that are curative and enable us to actually scale back um, treatment if patients have had an excellent early response. So we see a patient, we treat them, uh, we reassess them earlier in, in the treatment, and if they're going very much in the right direction, as, as many are, to be fair, um, we may then actually be able to tweak back the treatment, so maintaining cure, but with less treatment, and therefore reducing the risk of um, some of the side effects that we've historically seen for treatment. Um, I've mentioned chemotherapy, another mainstay of treatment in Hodgkin lymphoma is radiotherapy, and that is increasingly used in a very targeted, specific way. Um, techniques have improved over years, side effects have reduced, and we have um, uh, um, treatment approaches that again may enable us to omit radiotherapy in certain um, uh, uh, situations where we might previously have used it, but now we know they have um, excellent long-term outcomes without even the radiotherapy. Um, there are new treatments um, uh, um, that, that are very good in Hodgkin lymphoma. We at present generally do not need them for most patients because of the success of our, our actual uh, sort of long-term conventional treatments, um, but they're there for patients who need them. They're there in certain situations where more than one treatment uh, perhaps needed and, and um, can be given in various combinations too. Um, but overall, the treatment is very well tolerated. It does take some typically months, actually. Um, it's generally given as an outpatient, so patients at home coming up um, for treatment of a day and being home sort of before dinner kind of thing, um, but is, is well tolerated.